How is it going guys? Welcome back to yet another Booga Booga Let's Play video. Now I know that Let's Plays on this channel was kind of the thing that got me my most success. So I thought, I'm kind of low on content ideas, so why don't I start a whole new Let's Play? Something I've never tried before, and that's Booga Hardcore. Now I saw a tanker way back in the day do a hardcore Let's Play, and I loved that series so much, so I thought, it just makes sense, why don't I do one as well? So the goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to play this Let's Play, until I die, okay? So hopefully I don't ever die, but let's just be realistic. We're gonna be playing until I do die. So the, the, the goal is I wanna get from zero to 100 without ever dying, okay? So let's just quickly go over the rules of the challenge since this is episode one, and I want there to be no confusion. So the rules are, if I die at all, I'm immediately disqualified, the series ends, there will be no more uh, videos on this series. So even, even, even if I die to the golden shark, if I die to a player, if I die to um, anything, if I fall out of the map, if I die at all, the series is completely done for good. I'm also not gonna be allowed to use private server obviously I have to always play in a public and also I'm gonna give myself a one-time combat log a one-time combat log usage so I'm, I'm not gonna be allowed to combat log at all in this entire let's play except for one time and once I use that combat log um, I'm never gonna be allowed to do it again so those are the rules of the challenge everyone and um yeah obviously the goal is I want to get as far as I can naturally let's turn shadows off so I'm also gonna be trying my best not to accept help from fans as that would be kind of like cheating a little bit but it looks like that pink diamond guy is uh not gonna mess with me but either way i'm gonna keep my distance as he has the potential to completely one shot me ladies and gentlemen but yes i am on a brand new account right now so hopefully people don't recognize that i'm her and hopefully they would just like think i'm just some fan or something it looks like a magnetite dude mining the wealthy god, so I think I'm gonna have to stay clear of him, or else possibly, you know, I'll die. <laughs> but I am already level 4, so... I think this series is gonna follow the same format of my original Booga Booga 0 to 100 Let's Play, just for nostalgia's sake, you know what I mean? So this video, I'm gonna try my best to get um, up to iron stuff, and then the next video, I'm gonna try to get, like, steel, and then so on and so on. So let's just see if I can get some cloud berries. It's gonna be a nice, small food source. Bantos and Bantes are always a great source of leveling up at the very beginning of the game. And even later in the game, you know, these Bantos give like 15 XP and the other one, the little Bantes, give 10. So like this is just a great source of XP. I should be able to completely skip Leaf actually and go straight for Hide. And yes, I am going to make the Hide Pants and the Hide Shirt because I'm so scared of dying. <laughs> In this first video guys that I'm gonna do literally everything I can to be as safe as possible because I want this series to last a long time you know what I mean let's see I do have my daily quests so why don't we accept my daily quests feed the penguin 10 times cook 10 raw meat chop 50 bushes and chop 50 trees let's see I can get a good chest as well as some coins some more coins some essence and coins okay I'm gonna get lots of coins it looks like I don't know if I complete these quests so let's see I might have to find some more cloud bears so I can just give them to a penguin uh, let's chop down some trees really quick. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go find a penguin. Oh, hey, a banter respawned. Nice. Let me take in that hide. Okay, I found a penguin, like, literally two feet away from me. So while I uh, wait for him to eat his, his cloud berries, I'm just gonna cook up my, my raw morsel and my raw meat. And hopefully that should contribute to the quest. I think it should, right? There's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't. Let's see. He's eating up those cloud berries. Oh, so cute. So yummy. My chef quest just got completed, so I just got like a bunch of coins, right? Oh, no, that was essence. Well, 20 essence is still a good addition to my <laughs> leveling progress. I'm already level 7, guy. We're making great progress. I knew coming to the ice biome was going to be the, definitely the right move. So I'm level 7. That means I can make stone stuff, but I don't have any stone. So I'm probably going to have to mine this big stone shelly, which has 100 H. Come here, big stone shelly. You're gonna get destroyed! Okay, I've been invited to the Olive Tribe, so I think I would accept. Olive Tribe has a few people in it, so maybe if they come across me, they won't kill me. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully at least. It looks, like, it looks like the penguin ate nine of my cloud berries. Let me see if I can find one more. Oh, I see a cloud berry bush. Okay. I know that that pink diamond guy is over there with his gourd, so I do have to be careful about this. But let me just make myself my stone tools really quick and just drop them on the floor. Let's get my cloud berries. One, two, three. I think I saw a penguin this way. I look so newbie. Oh my god. Make sure you guys do leave a like on this video if you're excited for part two. It should be coming out in a few days of this video. 
I'm so excited for the brand new Let's Play. It's been so long since I've done a Booga Booga Let's Play. Um, yeah, I think we've only done actually technically two Let's Plays on this channel, but I wanted to do more, so I'm really excited for this. Let's see, I think there's also a code I can get, where it's like 245k favorite exclamation point. No, what, what is it like? Uh, Valentine's... 2024. I know there's w at least one code. Oh, there we go. I just got a bunch of coins. Damn, I'm a genius, bro. I'm a damn genius. Okay, what's my next quest? Chop 50 bushes and chop 10 trees. Okay, those are both pretty easy, so I'm just gonna do them kind of passively, I think. Okay, that pink diamond guy is making me a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I think he's coming in my direction, so I'm gonna try to, like, navigate this way. Keep an equal distance. What is he doing? Okay, he's going up the mountain. Okay. That's fine, bro. You can go up the mountain all you want. I do not mind. What I need to do, guys, I need to get a bunch of iron so I can make myself some iron armor and iron tools, okay? So let's go find- I know that there's quite a few iron nodes in the ice biome. Let's see if I can go find some of them really quick. Also, put in the comments which one of these uh, mojos I should get first. Um, should I get Water Walker? Should I try to get, like, God Rock just in case I come into PvP? Should I maybe get God Armor? Maybe a pick or a bag? Let me know in the comments. Please vote in the comments as to which one is the best option. I think that Pink Diamond guy is gonna fight the Magnetite guy. They're in different tribes, I think. Oh god, there's a lot of people around. Hmm. This is making me kind of nervous. Um, I don't know where any iron is, so we're just gonna go to the main island, I think. Oh, let's go this way. This, this is where my tribe's totem is. So let me just make, like, a raft and we can go that way. I don't know if my tribe actually has anything like that, that I can take. But, oh, so there's some iron in this ice chunk. Okay, let's mine this one really quick. Hopefully, this should give me three. I think it's three, right? Yeah, okay, three. It's pretty nice. Right, let's make an ice raft really quick. And, uh, let's just set sail. This is a good island, I think, to go to. Because no one really comes to this island. This is kind of just like a newbie, kind of secondary background island. Whereas most people go to those ones because there's a lot of caves on those islands. There's a lot of people, a lot of activity, a lot of PvP. But these islands, nobody really comes to. Except for this guy, apparently. Um, so let's see if I can find any iron nodes. There is one of these Valentine hearts. As of recording, the Valentine event is still going. So maybe, who knows, maybe I will find a few more and we can get the Capybara pet. Which would be pretty awesome. But I'm not going to count on it. I don't think I'm going to try my hardest to actually find them. I do actually have a video going over all of the locations of the hearts. So if you guys want to know where they are, you can check out that video. But for me, I'm not going to do that because I, I, I don't care about this account. Where does this cave go? This is a deep cave. I've never actually been here before. Ooh, it actually goes like, it leads out to the main cave system. Interesting. Well, let's do some mining for a bit, I guess. Let's, oh, look at that baby iron node. He's so cute and tiny. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let's just stay in the caves for a bit. I feel like the caves might be a bit more safe than the outside. Just because of the fact that like, you know, it's a, it's a bit harder for people to find me. Although, if people do find me, it's gonna be easier to kill me because there's less places to run. So, hmm, I do have to be very careful but i think this is the right move i do need iron anyways so i'm gonna have to go into the caves no matter what pretty much that thing has like a lot of hp so <laughs> oh geez let's see can i make a wall in case someone actually tries to follow me i'm probably gonna have to make walls to like prevent them from getting to me but damn when you're hitting the jackpot i already have like 12 iron i think this is gonna be 12 right yeah damn i hit the jackpot guys this is a pretty good cave system i think i think this way leads to the emerald slash pink diamond cave if i go that way so i do actually know where i am i hear someone mining though hmm. let's try and break this i don't know if someone's on this side or on that side but crap i'm nervous guys if i die on episode one that's gonna be so embarrassing <laughs> pick up all that wood and she have the have the club out just in case you know what i mean i don't want to fight but i'm ready to fight in case i have to Oh, there's a torch and a coin press and campfires. Okay, there's player activity, guys. People are in the cave. I'm not alone. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that they want to kill me, per se, but it means that they possibly could. Oh, I fell. Okay, whoops. Ooh, they, they are farming berries. Okay, I'll take some berries. Okay, I know there's a Valentine's Hearts right here, so I may as well take that one. Hmm, eat some of these foods. This is very strange. I don't know where this person is, but it's making me a bit nervous. They're probably gone by now. Otherwise, yeah, I just tried, I just tried to shut you get hit. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, I think, I think the best choice would be to get like, wait, oh my God, is it emeralds in the water? They mined the thing, but they didn't pick up the loot. 
and a few essences. Oh my god, that's lucky. I, I guess I'll take the blue fruits as well, in case I want to farm it. I think the person who mined it was attacked, and that's why they couldn't pick up the loot. That's what makes the most sense to me. Hmm, plot thickens. Well, let's just keep mining and then go to the surface. That's a war horn. Oh, God. Guys, I've never actually been more afraid in Booga in my life. I don't know why I'm so afraid. This is just, like, very standard stuff. <laughs> now, Booga is a scary game because people would do anything they can to kill you. They would chase you down for dozens of minutes on end. They will, you know, put you in a guard hut. They will, you know, pretend to be your friend and then come back and kill you later on. People in this game are vicious. They would do anything to kill you. It's a vicious game. And when you can't die... Shit gets risky. I hear someone mining above me, but I think that might just be somebody mining a tree. Oh, I see wood on the floor. Someone's trying to break in. He's running away. Okay, he already did some damage to it, which is nice. Let, let, let me let me pick up this loot. This is good loot. Ooh, iron. I think he I think he killed somebody. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let me keep the club out just in case this guy gets any fresh ideas. Where is he? Okay, he's over there by the waterfall. Okay, it seems like no one's on the main island right now with me. There's some people, but not many. Wait, this is this is like a base. Should I try to raid it? They left the doors wide open. Should I raid this base, guys? They have some fish. I'm just gonna take that raw fish from them. Wahaha. Let's raid the space. What's inside the chest? Nothing. Okay. Can I break it for some iron? Okay, it has too much. There's nothing in these chests. Damn, this is a good base, but I think it just got raided and uh which is unfortunate because like I got there too late, I guess. Pick up some hide and some more meat. Break some bushes so I can get that quest completed. And 50 bushes is quite a bit, isn't it? You just uh break a bunch of these trees really quick. But I think I'm I'm think I'm right about to hit level uh 10 actually, which is really good. So I sh I think I should find a nice safe place to cook up my food and then yeah let's just cook up my food so let's quickly just go to my tribe's totem i don't actually know what is at my tribe's totem but what i do know is it's gonna make me feel a little bit more safe than just uh being out in the wild you know what i mean it's out in the wild anything can happen to you so let's get to land and just go for a walk oh there's someone here with me i think he's on the same tribe as me but he has an iron helmet let's say hi to him let's be friendly i'm getting nervous oh my god okay he says hi friendly <laughs> i'm so scared of him Xion. Okay, Xion, please do not kill me. He has a nice big torch out. And he's not typing anything, so I think he's really thinking about this. Oh my god, there's a mad guy on a fucking boat. I didn't even see that. It says, let's go. Okay, he's got a pink diamond bag. Which is, uh, he's level 17. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. There's another guy. Okay. It looks like we have quite a few people on our team. Why does he have his club out? I'm on the same tribe as you. Why do you have your club out? Wait, is he on the same tribe as me? I think he is. I think he's on the same tribe. You silly goose. I don't trust this guy. He seems extremely violent. Hmm. Listen, buddy. I don't trust my own tribe. These guys seem very vicious. Like, they just want to kill me for no reason. <laughs> Let's break this small tree really quick. I'm very close. Like, I, sh I just gotta do two more. Hmm. What are you doing, buddy? He says, hey, you. Yeah. I think he's gonna kill me. Follow me. Okay. I think he's leading me to my death. I'm gonna keep a safe distance behind him, though. Is he gonna take us into the- Oh, there's some crystal shelly. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. I mean, you can kind of just slip in the, the crack, I think. Oh, no, you can't. He has a war horn out. What's inside? Am I gonna die? I think they're gonna kick me and I won't be able to open the thing. I'm just gonna die. You know what? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I'm gonna use my better judgment and simply walk away. In fact, let's go to the desert, actually. The desert seems... Like a nice place to, to set up shop temporarily. The desert's usually pretty unoccupied. So let's go hang out in the desert, I think. I'm also just going to leave tribe. I don't trust those those homicidal maniacs. Giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Uh, is there anyone on the island? There is Yellow Tribe's tribe totem. I don't see any of them. So I think that means... I can probably I can probably use this little village to my advantage right now actually. Look, they're farming coconuts. That's actually so cute. What the hell is this? Like the remnants of like Oh, that's the remnants of a turret. Oh. They invited I just got invited to Yellow Tribe. Hmm, interesting. Now I can actually raid their little the cute little village. Hmm, there's nothing inside. That's okay. I'm just gonna use the safety of uh their little campfires to smelt my goods. Put in my rot iron. Boom, closed that thing. There we go. Alright, is there anybody nearby? I don't see anyone but a bunch of scavenger ants. Good. 
I like this little village. It's kind of nice. All right, so everything's done cooking. Let's go scoop up my like 18 iron. Oh, I have 19. Okay. So normally, what I would say the most important thing is the bag, then the tools, then the armor. But actually. Since this is a hardcore let's play, where if I die, the series ends, I'm gonna say the bag is the most important, then the armor, and then the, um, and then the tours. Because, you know, dying is probably my biggest threat at the moment. Although I do need some more hides, so I guess I may as well make the tours, just because I don't have, like, I literally have no hides, so I may as well make something, you know what I mean? That mace is gonna be a good weapon. Maces are underrated, in my opinion. They're, like, pretty damn good. Although steel a steel uh, battle axe that would be perfect wouldn't it ah right. oh, they don't drop hide damn it i thought they might i could kill a mammoth but that would be very difficult so what i think i'm gonna try is to go to the main island and uh kill a few bantos because bantos will be able to give me hide and they don't fight back which is exactly the worst thing for me i think i i can in the meantime at least i can make an iron helmet which will provide uh, just a little bit extra hp even though i look a bit goofy i look i look a bit mismatched don't i i see some red tribe that way i like how people are actually making tribes like making tribes and making bases this feels kind of nice feels like og booga you know what i mean all right let's complete my little quest i should get a great chest from this actually um oh it's a good chest okay let's open up that good chest let's see what i get from it uh some eh, some average stuff i guess barley i don't use really often so i'm just gonna drop it Break some bushes for my quest. And uh, I don't see any Bantos. I do see Red Tribe still. Oh, okay. Bantos right in front of me. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. You're dead, buddy. You're dead. Sorry. No personal feelings. Or, I mean, no hard feelings. But I messed that up so bad. Alright, let's get the chest plate next. And then one more hide should get me the Greaves. Oh, I'm already I'm already looking a bit more threatening than normal. Good. Red, right, here he is. This is the final one. Boom. And it's the Greaves I need. So, boom. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm looking nice and, and scared now well guys thank you so much for this for watching this video i really hope it was entertaining even though i was going pretty slow and I'm keeping the game pretty safe i really hope you guys could find some entertainment out of this um and yeah episode two maybe i'll get into some cheeky combat situations who knows but anyways thank you for watching i really appreciate it make sure you do drop a like and a sub let's see awesome peace out